<clears throat> Scott from Insurance Arms again. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had some friends bring in this night vision binoculars. And they asked me to do a review on it, so I thought, yeah, that's pretty cool, I'll do it. So, got to thinking last night, well, why not do a affordable night vision and a higher, do higher dollar night vision comparison and see which one is best, which one has the features that I like, which one performs the best. So we did that last night. This is the Fairfield Fire something. I can't remember the exact name of it. I'll put it in the com put a link for it in the comments down there. Get on Amazon for about $155. I would say this is a Gen 1 Plus, maybe a Gen 2 night vision, and it surprisingly did fairly well. Um, the picture was pretty clear. The It has a, a built-in IR light. You can see right there. That's how you turn it on. Uh, that was super bright and did really good in uh, areas that weren't very well hit by starlight. Now, I did some filming last night. We'll show you that in a minute of both these in action. It really wasn't a fair test because the moon was out, kind of bright. But you'll kind of get the idea, <laughs> except for my crappy uh, videographer skills. All right, so let's just dive into these real quick. What I liked about this one, it uses uh, AA batteries. These are two of them. So you can buy those just about anywhere. Um, not heavy, not but not light. It feels rugged and robust. It comes with a, a really nice carrying case as well. Um, super easy to operate. Turn it on, turn it off. IR on, infrared off. I mean, just it, it really is that simple. Um, I don't see any problems holding up to your eye for extended periods. It's, it's a couple, three pounds maybe. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, feels fairly rugged. I don't know about the waterproof of it, um, but it still feels pretty rugged. I feel like it could take handle some abuse and still keep on running. Um, overall, pretty good little unit. Um, it handled, you know, really easy, kind of actually easier than the one I'm gonna, we're gonna look at next um, as far as working it. Um, not very difficult at all. Uh, so yes, for the money, This is a good beginner night vision monocular for the money. A uh, hundred and, you know, can probably come out like 160 bucks, something like that from, from Amazon. So, it, you know, not a lot of money, but it's performed better than what I thought it was going to perform. I honestly believed that it was going to perform poorly, that the, vi the, the picture wouldn't be very clear. Um, it was clear, it was crisp. It, it reminded me sort of of the old school, um, I'm dating myself here, I think they're, they're PVS 4s that they had in the mid 80s in the military. Um, you could see really well out of them, better, you know, when the night was lit up with the moon. Um, those are heavy, but the picture reminds me of the picture from this. So now I want to jump to, to this guy. And I'm not going to tell you how much this cost because it, it was expensive. And my wife would kill me if she ever watched this video. She knew I bought this. Um, this is the PVS. I, I don't remember. It's one of the PVS series. I think, I think it's a six. I'm not sure. Um, but it's a monocular. It, and by the, the mount separately to, to fit on your, your helmet or your your head, whatever you want to carry it. Now, I will say up front, the clarity in this is far superior to clarity in this. That said, this one cost a substantial bit more than this one did. Um, this one's substantially lighter. Uh, it's very easy, to, very easy to use or to, to, to look through and whatnot. The, the picture's crystal clear. It is a bit difficult to turn on 
and turn off and put the IR on. And here's what I will tell you is if you leave it on, the battery goes dead. Who knew? So this is your on-off switch right here. It's also for the IR illuminator, which it has that built in. I can't think of where it's at. Right there it is. So at night, again, the picture of this is really, really good. Much better than that, but that's what you're getting. I mean, you're paying for quality stuff with this. Runs off a, a CR123 battery. Uh, again, those are somewhat easier to find nowadays. Um, you can pick them up at the hardware stores or maybe even some convenience stores. I, I've not really paid attention to that. I know before you, years ago, you had to go to like a specialty battery place to buy them or you know, buy them on the internet. Now, I think you can buy them about anywhere, but still, they're substantially more expensive than the. Uh, triple-A or double-A batteries in, in the fair Fairfield unit. Um, last battery life in this, I really don't have an idea as I've not fully tested how long it lasts. Um, I know for a fact <clears throat> that when you leave it in the bag and you leave it on, it's dead when you pull it out. So there you go. Um, the good thing about the 123 batteries is they're consistent. They're going to give you power from the time first time you power it up till the battery goes dead you get the same exact performance you'll notice degrading performance in this with the 120 or the the double a batteries in this one you'll notice over time that the it does not work as well as it does that's the advantage of this now if you got the money and you want some decent night vision then yes by all means i recommend getting something like this um i'd I, this is really fun, I mean, especially at night. Uh, you go outside and you look up at the sky. You're gonna see stars you've never seen before. Um, looking at animals at night. Poaching, but looking. Um, you know, even if you're in a house and you hear something go bump in the night, um, this would be handy to have as well. It gives you just a bit more advantage than the bad guy, which is always a good thing. This one would work as well, too. Um, a little bit more heavier, a little more cumbersome, but again, you know, for what you're paying for, I, I have no complaints on this. I really, I, again, I was surprised. The, the picture quality was very similar. Um, this one, obviously, because it's higher generation, I guess, if that's the right term, the picture was very, very, very crisp, very clear. This one was clear. Crisp, eh. Uh, this one I think has a further, uh, you can see further with it than, than this one. Again, it's because of the, the generation of the night vision. This one I can see, I want to say I can see clearly 70 yards maybe, maybe a little bit further. Um, just and That's just rough guessing. Uh, I really couldn't give you an exact quote. This one. I know from running, playing with it at night before, you can see a couple hundred yards if you got, you know, line of sight and all that stuff. I don't have a line of sight at my house. It's all hills and, and whatnot. So I, I'm, I get a hundred yards out of this. I'm, you know, I'm happy. You can clearly see things to it at night. Um, if you're looking for night vision, and you don't want to break the bank or get your wife pissed at you, you have to sleep on the, in the, the couch. Look for the Fairfield model on Amazon. This is a four by 30, I think they said. So you get a pretty wide view of things. It's really not fair comparing these two because they're designed for two different things. Um, this was more designed for your average <coughs> person just to have some night vision. Um, say you want to go and I don't know, shoot coyotes or whatever, you'd at least be able to see them at night. Um, it's got the, the little mount on the bottom there where you can hook it into your um, tripod if you want. Uh, this one's more designed for um, law enforcement, military type things. Um, I'm neither, but this is pretty much what this one is designed for. So 
Yes, a big recommendation on this one. I, I liked it. I, again, I was surprised. I'm going to show you here in a little bit once I get everything edited up, edited, oof, edited correctly, hopefully. Some of the different video taken from this one and the video from this one. And I think you'll be surprised. Um, it was pretty, it was green, real green, but that's, I think, just because of the generation of night vision this is. Um, you can adjust it if you got crappy eyes. You can adjust it here, and you can adjust it here as well. Um, I got, was able to get the picture pretty, pretty sharp and focused last night, uh, just in a matter of seconds, and I was seeing pretty clearly um, up to I'd say, you know, well, what I was filming is probably 40 yards away from where I was at, so it was pretty clear for 40 yards. Um, again, you know, I have to wear readers now because I'm vintage, and the eyes I can't see up close as, as good as I could uh, 10, 15 years ago. So that said, that comes in really handy. Um, overall, I liked it. I wouldn't object to owning one, uh, but I've already got some, so I'm not going to be buying this one. But I, I think if you go buy one, you, you won't be disappointed. Um, but I was, again, I was, I was pretty surprised by the picture, and you'll see in just a second. So anyway, like I said, I, we're getting close to the 500. Um, the quicker we get there, the quicker I get this dadgum knife away and quit nagging at you guys about it. But uh, remember, we want 500 subscribers, and I'll be giving away a brand new Microtech knife, which is re it's really a cool knife, and I think that somebody would really like that. If not, I'll just say it hung because I like it. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your rabbi. Tell your preacher. Whatever. Um, join in. Again, <clears throat> big shout out to my friends for letting me play with their night vision. Y'all can come get this stuff now if you want. Um, I really was surprised again. Uh, it's guys like y'all that make me want to keep coming back and doing the videos. Um, if there's anything y'all would like to see me try, you know, test out, whatever, let me know. Um, if I can get it, I will. If I can afford it, I'll get it, and we'll, we'll try it out and see what happens. Um, if it's something I can't afford, I just can't afford it. But for some company out there that's watching this and wants me to try some of their products, I am not ashamed to take free stuff, just to let you know. And I, but I'll give you an honest review on it. I'm not going to lie about it. I don't, don't want to do that. So until next time, guys, I'll think of something to do a video on here in the next couple of days, and we'll get one up probably next week sometime. And... Uh, Remember, like, share, and subscribe, 500, Microtech Knife. Until then, y'all have a great day.